Good morning, everyone. Today is a new day. I am in Brooklyn and I am on my way to um, an event. This is going to be a private event at the Brooklyn Museum. Um, I can show it to you. Yeah, there it is, right behind me. Um, and the event is for Terry Mugler's exhibit that is happening right now at the Brooklyn Museum. Very excited to be here. I actually got invited. I got invited to the opening night of the exhibit, but I was just, I was, I think I wasn't feeling well. I think I was not feeling well. I was on deadline for a project and you know, at that point, that's when I have to like say, okay, Tiffany, <laughs> stay home, do what you can, don't do too much. But anyway, like I said, I'm very excited to be here this morning for this event which by the way I am not a morning person I don't know about you if you're a morning person god bless you but me personally I just I can't I feel like my mornings are for me and I really have to be loving whatever it is that I'm doing in the morning in order for me to get through my day successfully right you know because if things start falling apart in the morning it's like a domino effect so thankfully I was able to find parking right now I'm just sitting in my car in the Tessie my caro that's that's the name of my car caro we're sitting here together and I'm charging her right now As you can see I don't know you can barely see back there but that's like a, a supercharging station which is great because I've got a long ways to go back home. The exhibit starts at 10 and right now it's 9.48. I think I'm just probably gonna charge to get enough, maybe like a 20% charge. <sighs> Let me think, 20%, maybe, maybe I'll do 25% because 25% will get me back home to Long Island and I do have a particular errand that I need to run. I should be fine. I definitely won't have enough time to charge all the way up though because I'm sitting in the car and I have okay so literally right now it's 9 49 it's probably going to take just open my Tesla app probably gonna take about 30 minutes for a full charge full ish charge and 30 minutes I don't have I have 10 minutes the thing about Tesla is like you can't leave your car charging idly on a supercharger because then you get charged for idle fees so that puts me in a predicament where i have to move the car and i don't want to get i think it's a dollar a minute that's charged that you get charged if you're still charging idly on on the charger <laughs> on the supercharger so regular chargers are different but on a supercharger that's the thing that's the deal that you sign up for so it's fine not a big deal it's cold outside very cold outside and what I'll have to do I have my little blazer that I will be wearing but I feel like I should start to get set up with my coat situation because okay there we go now you're now you are there stay put be right back because I stayed in Brooklyn last night I did not bring any makeup with me tragic I know I've just been focusing on my skincare that's the best I can do this morning um, but honestly I don't mind it my skin is not looking so bad um, I'll just do a little bit of a lip color actually I have La Mer on my lips right now so I'm gonna take that off or just dab it down because the La Mer serum I'll actually show it to you before I go inside the La Mer serum is this it is my absolute favorite thing honestly truly it is the best oops one of the best lip glosses that I have ever tried very expensive not for everyone just gonna throw that out there but quite wonderful and this is going to be my lippy of the day it's a Killian lippy Killian makes great um, beauty products. Honestly, their colors are gorgeous. This color, just so you know, it's color 240. Le Rouge Parfum Scented Lip Color Matte. Intoxicating Rouge. I guess that's the color of the, the lippy. And it smells, it smells like Love Don't Be Shy. Mm, so, so good. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna put this on. It's like warm vanilla marshmallowy. Mm, that's pretty good. Should I do a bit of a pop on the cheek of color? Let me just wipe it off because I am not trying to get pimps. I've already got a pimp 
happening right there. I don't I don't need any more pimp situation. Just do a quick little dab there. Two dabs. This way, when I show up, it looks like I actually made an effort and I didn't just roll out of bed. Nothing wrong with going makeupless, but I feel like in these sort of places, in these arenas, you gotta you gotta show up. That is what I intend to do. So that's that. Scent of the day while we're sitting here in the car, I will show you is from Mind Games. Mind Games. And the fragrance that I'm wearing, which you see, I've already made quite the dent in the fragrance from wearing it. This is Castling. This is a gorgeous, figgy, coconutty. I don't know if there's coconut in there, so let me not say that. But there's definitely something that gives the coconut impression big i believe it is been wearing it and i've actually really been loving that fragrance a lot just going through my bag trying to get set up here this is an actual routine what i do before i hit any um major place when i'm out because you can't show it with ashy hands too right okay and one of my rings won't come off it's like i guess maybe had too much salt happening but yeah i just want to get my hands together because right now it's 37 degrees outside it is cold outside and once I go outside my hands just instantly become ashy <laughs> so let's get them together <clears throat> if you've never seen a Tesla car charge behind the scenes I will show you I will show you half of the screen just for privacy reasons so what we have going on here i had a current trip in here and it's saying okay for in order to charge up for the trip that i was on i need about five more minutes and it also lets you see how fast you're charging can you see that there how fast i'm charging here per hour and how much of a charge I actually have, which is 24%. So I also have 68 miles. And I need about 40 to get back home to Long Island. So 68 miles, that's actually pretty good. I could probably stop charging pretty soon. All right, next time we see each other, we should be inside. Okay, my friends, so I've been told we're just going to go straight back and hopefully, It'll be a very fun experience. <laughs> All right, so we got a quick little spread here for breakfast. Eat real quick and then off to the museum. Got my little food going on here. So we're doing muffin, got a little croissant, and some sparkling water just before I go ahead and go inside. this right here on the screen hopefully you can see that pause it and read it but anyway look at all these gorgeous sketches i mean this is a total total vibe this is from lady Macbeth. wow look how beautiful this is and all the details that are here too that is just stunning Here they're showing like the plates for the costumes. Wow. Got to love that.
beautiful. So I know a lot of you know Terry Mugler for his fragrances, but honey, you gotta get into his looks, which I mean, honestly, they are stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Now, if we were to talk about a style that is totally my vibe, I mean, wow, look at the details. The details are sick. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Oh my god, I love it. Glamour and sparkling and just beauty at every turn. How lovely. Gorgeous. Look at this outfit. I mean, wow. How beautiful. And honestly, it's the details for me. Like, let's get into those, honey. Those details. So, so beautiful. This is from 1995 collection. Wow, I was a baby. I was a baby. And then we have something here from Fall Winter 1997-98. Okay, we see a lot of these styles of looks on Beyonce these days to this day. And this was a look that came out in 1997, summer of 97. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, oh my God. Remember, this is the Cardi B look right here. And this is vintage too, from 1995 to 1996. Oh my gosh. Can we just talk about the ear cuff? Because so beautiful. Strand of pearl, like a line of pearls going up the ear we love that so good we've got another look here this is from 1995 this stunning look and i mean the fashions wow this look is certainly bringing the drama this is from 1995 as well fall winter collection oh my god if i was still getting into my salsa looks i would definitely rock this one so gorgeous and iconic baby Oof. i love i love i love i love beautiful Gosh, there's so much to see here and we have not even gotten into fragrance yet. This sequence number right here we've got is stunning too. I love <laughs> holding the wig, iconic. So like this sequence number right here, I love the shoulders. I love a good padded shoulder with a lot of drama. That is gorgeous, gosh. This is from 79 y'all i wasn't even born i could still wear that oof so good uh-oh we got a little kim k we're in the hood. <laughs> these rooms you guys are huge huge and they are serving looks this is beautiful. Oh my god, yes. 1984, we're talking about a satin bustier dress with angel wings. So this is this is where it's starting to happen. Remember this? Part of the ad campaign. And here we have the fragrance. Okay, so let's go through a quick timeline, right? So we've got some sketches here of Angel, Terry Movie. And then we have 
crepe jacket with short sleeves from the 1994 collection and then the actual bottles of fragrance here this is so awesome a sketch of the angel bottle in 1992 again i was still a baby <laughs> so awesome beautiful guys Okay, so look at this, 1989 Chrysler building. And I mean, do you see that? This gorgeous model, Claudia, and she's literally just luxuriating on the side of this building, on the Chrysler, on the, on the Chrysler building. It's crazy. Look at this. That is sick. Beautiful, beautiful. I've made it to the most important room that you need to see. The fragrances, of course. We've got Alien. Well, we've got the two aliens here. We've got Angel. Um, we've got Amen. Oh my gosh, how gorgeous. And let me take you through from start to finish because this is also really important for fragrance history, really. This is Angel EDP, created in 1992 from Olivier Crest Gourmand. This was the first gourmand perfume composed of bergamot, praline, red fruits, patchouli, and vanilla. So this is an iconic scent, groundbreaking. It started a whole world of fragrance, a new category of fragrance. And here is the bottle. Here we have more Angel. We're just gonna keep going along here. Looks like Olivier Bulge in 2014 created over musk. I don't believe I've ever smelled this. But here's the write up. Just pause the screen. I would love to smell that. Oh my god. What I would give to break open these boxes and smell exactly what's going on inside of here. Then we have the colognes, which I believe I have and own. God, those came out in 2015. We've got Amen here. These bottles are beautiful. Goodness. Let's take a step over here. Super, super floral. Eau de parfum. I remember going over one of my friend's house and smelling this for the first time. I don't own a bottle of this, but I do remember when it was released. One of my favorites of all time. This fragrance is in my Keep 10 for Life video. I'm obsessed. And here, something new, which I'm gonna be sharing with you very soon on the channel. God, this is so beautiful and decadent. I just love it. I love it all. One final look at the whole entire room. Okay, honestly, that was such a lovely experience. I'm leaving, well, one, with a goodie bag, but two, just feeling so inspired by everything that I saw in there. I mean, this man was brilliant. Brilliant fashion, serving looks, serving fragrance. I just feel so built up and inspired. Okay, back to charging again. Since now, I am done with walking through the exhibit which by the way i probably will go back there's nothing like seeing excellence right in front of you like there's no denying the input terry mugler has had on fashion and fragrance and i just i hope that one day i can be as um impactful as his body of work i mean just exceptionally extraordinarily great like that is greatness what i saw in there was greatness 